My name is Jonathan Ulrich and I am one of the Doctor of Physical Therapy faculty here at Ganning University. We are here in the Night Ability Clinic, uh, which is our pro bono physical therapy clinic on campus, where we help uh, people from the community and also our student body and our Gannon athletes um, for those that lack access to care. We treat, as I mentioned, our student body, we treat our Gannon athletes and um, members from the community, um, and we'll treat people who lack access to care, whether it's financial, um, a transportation issue, or a scheduling difficulty, especially for our student body when they have classes. Maybe they're running class eight to four, they can't get to a clinic that's open during the day, um, so we, we fill that need for them. Um, and then for community members who maybe have a financial barrier in particular, um, this is a service they can access to receive care. Um, it's primarily driven by uh, musculoskeletal care um, or orthopedic care, but um, all of our faculty at one point or another have treated um, individuals from pediatrics or with um, after amputation, with neurologic conditions. Um, so we, we service a, a wide range of, of needs for um, patients who lack access. Uh, the clinic is open to first and second year students. It's primarily run by the second year students. There's a board of us involved and we have advisors, so we work with some of the faculty to make sure that everything is running smoothly, patients are getting scheduled, and the meetings, we talk about what we need to address if there's any troubles within the clinic or anything like that. So students can get involved as soon as the first semester, as long as we have patients. Uh, typically how it runs is the second year will be in charge of the treating and evaluation of patients and as first years learn more and go through the curriculum they can start to implement the skills that they are learning. Um, it's a great opportunity for the second years to brush up on their skills and a great opportunity for the first years to learn some new stuff from the second year they're working with and to try out some new things as well. So the pro bono clinic is also very important for the community in Erie. Um, it provides increased access to care for those who might be lacking that care due to insurance or lack of coverage or lack of ability to travel to a clinic. And it fulfills one of physical therapists' prime core values of social responsibility, which is like, taking care of the community that you're involved in and I think that's also something very cool about our clinic here. It's really exciting because it gives students the ability to practice their skills and get great advice from their professor and see how those skills in class translate to what that can be out in the physical therapy community. It's really a chance to express yourself, try new things, work on those skills that might be a little bit new and challenging in a safe environment. A really awesome way to practice what you learn, kind of put those clinical thinking skills to good use and just applying what you learn in classes, lectures, labs, all that stuff. It's a lot more engaging, a lot more um, fulfilling to be able to do that for a fellow student who's in need of services or things of that sort. Just continuing to build that positive alliance with the people really uh, speaks home to me.